Hi, everyone. I'm super excited. We have uh, one more student with us today. Uh, Brandon, hello. Hello. Nice. So as you know, I like to introduce you to some of our students so you can see a little bit better um, what we do here at the BD School, but hear it directly from them so that it's uh, uh, not just our voice, but you can hear it directly from our students. So Brandon, without further ado, can you uh, tell us more about you, a little bit of background so uh, people listening can know more about you? Sure. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for asking me to participate in this. Um, it's, I'm really excited because I, I got a lot of value from the course, but uh um, so I was in the army for 12 years and following my time in the Canadian military, I decided to transition and I went back to school to study psychology. And uh, after four or five years of being an addictions counselor, I had to pivot out and to try something new. And um, there was an opportunity at the place where I work, which is the Canadian Mental Health Association, Thames Valley, that came up as the business development manager. And uh, I had developed a lot of uh, relatable skills over the years of being a project manager and a research assistant and a leader in the military, but uh, business development was a little bit new for me. So uh, that's that's kind of a little bit of my background and the, uh, yeah. Great, a very diverse background, but mm -hmm. I always say also for you listening, uh, everyone, uh, having a diverse background, uh, so not necessarily business, uh, in business development is actually super helpful because it really gives you this different view on the business and uh, uh, that can be very enriching. It really helps you find uh, opportunities. Um, so yeah, tell us more. Why did you decide to take the course? Uh, actually, Brandon started, I believe it was January 2024. We finished mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. So what motivated you to uh, look for a course in BD and then choose the BD school? Sure. Well, like I said, I was pivoting out of uh, being a counselor. And so, I mean, counsel counseling is kind of like sales. Like I worked in a, a rapid access addiction medicine clinic. So all day long, I would sell clients on wellness, right? That was kind of what I was doing. I was selling clients on wellness. I was selling them on different medical approaches to, to mental health and addiction. I was, uh, I had a, you know, client uh, management software system that I was using. I was doing a lot of things that the, the, uh, there was a, tr uh, a translatable skill set between being a counselor and being in sales, but sales isn't necessarily business development. Um, right. And so I, it's one aspect. You learned of, well um, in the yes, course. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Absolutely. Yeah. It's one of the five major uh, activities, but it's not Indeed. the only one. Um, so the opportunity that I got at the CMHA for business development was a great opportunity. It's a new position here. They, they've they never had a business development rep before. They have a number of social enterprises that they want to grow and expand. And I wanted to hit the ground running and I wanted to do a really good job. I believed in myself. I believe that I had really good project management and task management skills. I believe that in from my time in the military, I believe that I had a really good transferable skill set from being a counselor. I believe that, you know, uh, my research background from my time in university as a research assistant would be valuable. I was bringing all that. Plus, I had my own little counseling business for a while, so I had some skills. But I did. I felt like I needed something to bring it all together to to give me a, a system and direction, so that when I when I started the job, I wasn't you know flailing and floundering trying to figure out to get my hands around it. So I I found the I searched business development education on the internet and on Google, a trusty old Google. And I saw Lucia's smiling face and I was like, what is this scam? <laughs> Immediately. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. Guys, I smile all the time. So <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, you know, like when you find something on the internet, you want to check it out. So I, I, I saw the free content. Uh, I watched a bunch of the seven, the webinars on YouTube. Uh, and then I, I, I read the website and then I began to believe that this wasn't, it was actually a legitimate business organization providing valuable information and skills for business development professionals. So after a couple months of uh, uh, intelligence gathering, I, I made the plunge a few weeks before I started I started the job in January. Uh, or, yeah. And, um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's how I found the business development school and the process that it took me to get there. 
Oh, great, great. Yeah, and I always say, so also for you watching these right now, uh, I never oversell. So literally what you see here, it's what you see in the session, doesn't change. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm alive, I'm real, I exist. That's true. <laughs> great. And so what did you enjoy about the course? Or like, uh, how did you like the course in general? What were the things that uh, you enjoyed the most uh, from it and that you really, um, you know, think added value? Sure, yeah. So the but the thing, one of the things that really drew me to the business development school is the fact that I could get individualized one-on-one -on -one coaching. I, I, I mean, there's there's other things. I found other you know business development courses through Coursera or or similar things on the internet that I tried them, but they were just lacking substance and 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 meat. So one of the things that really drew me to uh, to the business development school was that coaching, that one-on-one, -on -one, um, and the system. The systems approach, right? We uh, the, the education was awesome, but I, what I use on a daily basis are the systems and the tools and the processes that, and um, that's what I needed. That's that's exactly what I was looking for is is some some kind of coherence to all of these and do, something to give me direction for all of these skill sets I knew I would need to use, but not necessarily knowing exactly how to apply them on the day to day. And so that's that's really the, the huge value that I took away from it. Great. So we have another fan of the spreadsheets. So it's like I old templates. Spreadsheets. <laughs> I, I know and I love that you're so organized on them so every, every time that you would show me what you did I was like oh thank you so like yeah. it's uh, for for my sense of uh, aesthetic on the spreadsheets yeah. you were the perfect student I would say so it was really Great. good and um well now you're a couple of months into the job so how is that going and uh, if the course helped you in what way uh, is it helping you in your current job sure well it's been a couple months so we have a business development is a long game, right? So uh, this is what I learned. I want results now, but I know Indeed. that I have to. Yeah. Uh, what, Patience. I, it, yes. <laughs> what it's done is it's it's set me up, I think, for success in the long term is that I've done my market research. I've done my competitor research. I've done my my business analysis. I have the, the dashboard. I have my experiments and I'm running and I'm organized and and chipping away at the things that I need to do on a daily basis and and <clears throat> not just spinning my wheels trying to figure out what to do. Um, I re and I and I don't just use the tools too. I come back to the education and the webinars and the stuff that's on the templates that are on the website already. So in my if I have a if I have a question or a problem, one of the first places I go is I go to the, the webinars and I check it out and I see is there is there an answer in here somewhere? And I'll watch a video and I'll find an answer and that'll give me something to do to address the problem that I'm experiencing. So it's that's helped in that way. It's it's um it's made me I'm able to go into meetings with my supervisors and with my my direct reports and have clear direction and and objectives and um that that helps, right? Like so. It does. It does. At least you know, like you, you let's say you avoided the first time, uh, uh, you know, the first weeks, which you know you have to learn a little bit more about the business and so on. Because I remember actually we started before you started the actual job, so we actually could prepare a lot of things already. So you kind of like saved a, a little bit of time, and then indeed, of course, results. Uh, I'm confident they're gonna come. Um, but with the right time. So unfortunately, BD, we really can't force it. It's uh, um, it's a bit like in relationships among people, right? So if you want to make a new friend, like you wouldn't go like super pushy and like, okay, let's be friends now. Let's be able right. to get now. <laughs> it doesn't work, right? <laughs> Great. So let's say if someone here now is uh, uh, listening and considering to join one of the courses of the BD school, uh, what would you advise them uh, to, you know, to help them make a decision for the BD school or, any other uh, platform that you also checked? Mm. I I, I'm not sure what your typical student profile is. I imagine it's new people who are new to business development or maybe they hit a wall. Um, mm -hmm. For me, I was new to business development. So I guess I'll speak to that demographic and say um, that for me, if if I had not taken this, this, this course, I've feel like I would have spent the first two or three months on my own, just trying to figure out what to do. And I would have got there, I think, or not. I don't know. I think I, I believe in myself. So I think I would have figured it out eventually, but 
why reinvent the wheel? Right. But there's a, there's a, there's a valuable system here. There's valuable educational uh, content. There's Lucia who's a super available and very responsive uh, despite her chaotic calendar. A, a little bit this week, this week, <laughs> this week was chaos. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I would say, I would say if you have the time and you have the money and you have the energy, do it. Just, awesome. just, just jump in and do it because uh, you only regret the things you don't do. And why start the new position or the new opportunity with your, you know, behind when you can start in, in front? Great. Well, Brandon, thank you so much. So I hope that your experience is going to help some of the uh, listeners here, you know, in case they're doubting uh, or they're considering if it's uh, uh, money well spent or if I exist, I do. So we cleared that <laughs> up. You're not doing AI generated. <laughs> Indeed, like no, it's it's so real. No AI, uh, at least not in in this, not in the not in the videos, not in the sessions. All real or live. So, Brandon, okay. thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing your experience with us and um, everyone. Um, again, follow the advice of uh, Brandon. If you're looking for a business development course, you're starting a new job, or if you're already working in BD, but you know, you're not getting the same results as you once uh, uh, got, uh, feel free to get in touch. We can look together at uh, uh, possible solutions, what's the right course, and then uh, see if the BD school is the right partner for you. Brandon, thank you so much. Uh, have a good rest of the day. So you're in Canada. So for you, it's still day for yeah. me. It's almost done. So like last sprint of the day and then I'm good as well. So enjoy your weekend, uh, mm -hmm. everyone, you too, and uh, see you soon.